Now I'm going to show you how to put it all back together. The first step is to connect your ZIF cable back into the slot on your motherboard, just like that. And pay attention to how much white line is left. See the white line here on the cable? And you're going to close the flap. Looks like that. And then connect your hard drive back in there. Make sure it's all the way in. And fold it like this. And then fold it again. Just like that. If when you disassemble your Zen, if you happen to notice that this yellow capacitor is not here or it has fallen off, you will need to resolder this back on because when it falls off or if it's loose or damaged, um, you will only get sound out of one side of the earphones. That's what this is for. And uh, so the next step in reassembling the whole thing is to reattach your battery. Oops. There we go. And now we're going to put the whole thing back into the case, the aluminum case. Put it in like this. You might need to make some adjustments on the way in here because it's kind of a tight fit and sometimes it just does not want to go in there. You might need to press down on the screen a little bit as you push it in. Make sure the battery goes down enough and push it in with your fingers like that. Make sure that the these cords here, the, uh, the black and red cords, are out of the way of this reset button. You do not want the cords to be on top of your reset button. Now, we're going to put the metal plate back on there. It just goes right back on. And then the screws. Screws back in there. And then we're going to put the, the white plastic cover back on it. Make sure it's, you push on it real good and make sure it's in there real good. And the last and final step is to put the touch pad back on. So the, you put it in like this, you angle the top of it in there first. And then press down. Press it down real good. And there you go. It's reassembled.